Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Lies of P. Uh, last episode we took down the Scrap Watchmen, uh, got, uh, got Geppetto back safely to the hotel, talked to him, got some story stuff, figured out what the P organ is, it's uh, like a little clock thing inside of myself, and I can use it to, up, uh, I can upgrade it to get special abilities. Um, I increased my stamina a little bit, you'll notice that my green bar up in the top left is uh, a, a decent chunk bigger than it was previously. So I added uh, I added some things into uh, into vigor, and I added uh, I think a point into uh, into strength as well. So we're gonna start by talking to Eugenie here. She said that she wanted to talk to us. I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vignini is the expert when it comes to legion arms. But I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Oh. Take a look at Vanini Works Machine. Switch legion arm. Uh, puppet string, trace, dodge, attack link. Let's see, Puppet String. A Legion arm can release a wire, it can be strung around an enemy to drag it toward you, or you can move, or, uh, to move you toward it. Interesting. Uh, press and hold the Legion arm, uh, it's hard to, hard to read that, uh, there we go. Press and hold the Legion arm button to track an enemy. Uh, dodge enables dodging after a hit. Attack link if you pull pull or wire trace an enemy and press and hold the Legion arm button, it will trigger a link attack. Okay, so those are probably unlocks that I get for it later. Alright, so I have a standard one, our uh, arm of steel. Uh full minis. A Legion arm that holds powerful electricity, it accumulates electric blitz blitz and discharges an electric shock. Lightning has been in interpreted as God's authority and fury since ancient times. Now God's fury descends to the earth, and it is being used to destroy steel monsters. Okay, oh nice, I get to see what it levels up into. Uh, I like it when games do that, when they tell you kind of what to expect later on. Enables moving while charging electric blitz. Oh, okay. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip it. I, uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what we can do with it. Hey, buddy. Alright. Fatal attack, face, face a staggered enemy, plus right bumper. Fatal attacks can be... Performed on staggered enemies. Oh, hey, I've already done that, I think. Oh, you have to, like, be in front of them. Okay. Good to know. I was wondering earlier why that wasn't appearing to um, work for me. So. And it's because I wasn't doing it right. That would be a good reason. Okay, no items out here. I think I already got all of them. Uh, I spoke to her to level up, and she was talking about how she can't tell me everything right now, but the city is on its deathbed. Uh, she used she has the special ability to control Ergo, and that's how she woke me up, and she said she'll tell me more later. I'll use my power to help you. Let's see if she'll talk about anything else, though. Mm, doesn't look like it. Those are all the same conversations we had before. Now, what is this guy? Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? 
uh, about the Grand Covenant. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law, all puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law, a puppet may not harm humans. Third law, a puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law, a puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Stalkers. The stalkers are Krat's vigilantes. There are two groups of them, the bastards and the sweepers. The bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Man, that's interesting. Like, they've had... This has gone on long enough for people to form, like, organizations and have, like, relationships between those organizations. That's... Some time has gone by. Man, that's crazy. Oh, nice. I can buy quartz if, uh, if I need to. It's expensive, but I can do it. Uh, let's check in with the uh, lady. Oh man, La lady something. That sounds very dangerous. Antonia. Geppetto usually isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, dear. Uh, I I shouldn't have said that. You and Geppetto are always welcome at this hotel. Geppetto's room is on the second floor. You can stop by whenever you like. Um, so what's interesting is, uh, you know, there, there's a puppet here. Uh, he's manning the desk. He's not crazy like the other ones. So something, something here must be keeping things in check. Um, but also, man, Geppetto really sounded like a robot. He, he, he. It was like he was like me, uh, looking like a person, but is actually a puppet. That book reminds me. Have you ever heard the fairy tale about a mischievous wooden puppet? All of Krat knows the story. All because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else. Uh, but this is strange. I, I do not recall who exactly was that someone. Do I have to click it again? That book oh, no. Oh, but this... oh, and you can see down on the bottom left, uh, I have uh, uh, five charges. I uh, have five pulse charges now. All right. So I need to find my way to Venini. Uh, I don't need to go that way. Lady Antonia. Oh, I thought I had the key for that street. Uh, maybe it's just beyond uh, the city hall. I'll, I'll, I'll go back there. I'm gonna assemble a weapon. Uh. No, I'm I'm good. Good the way I am. Crot City Hall Courtyard. All right. 
upgrades. Can I tear down boards? No. Panini's Guide. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Vanini Company is responsible for it. I, Lorenz, uh, Lorenzini Vanini, am going to alone to stop those devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. The rest I'll leave to Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards, Lorenzini Vanini. guys somewhere around here. Too many steps taken without someone taking a swing at me. Well, there's some puppets down there. Oh, and one over here. Usually, if there's like a little open area, I expect there to be something there. Here it is, the Nini Works. Everything you see here belongs to the Nini, the classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Uh, I wish we could find him. That is. He's still kicking. I'm waiting for this guy over here to turn around because I'm gonna, gonna try and surprise him. There we go. Shiny. Miracle cure by the miracle medicine. By the miracle medicine here. Oh dang it! By the miracle medicine here, a miracle. The miracle alchemist Clark Shore, also known as Doctor Cureall, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Krat. Make uh, made from you from unicorn horn, blood of a two-headed snake, and boiled down mandrake. Clark Shore has tested it himself and confirmed that it that it completely cures the plague. Is he saying he had the plague? The blue plague is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Cureall, Clark Shore. Prices may vary as it is limited as it is a limited item. Well, I suppose there will always be people to try and rip off others, even re regardless of the circumstance. That dude's got a. Whoa! It's a big ass wheel. I didn't. I couldn't see where I got. I don't see where that got thrown from. Damn. Yeah, I don't want to get trapped by that guy. I absolutely will if I'm not careful. Oh. 
Boom. Oh. Well, hi there, buddy. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. Come on. There we go. Fire Abrasive, Vivid Ergo Fragment, and Star Fragment. Oh, I heard a, something get lit. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, when, when you're like, yeah, I've got, I've got you now, and you just, like, hit your sword up against, or hit, hit your weapon up against the wall. Like, oh, crap. Fable Catalyst. I hear something, I hear a fuse lit. Where is that? Interesting. Looks like a like a like a robot doll or something. This is a uh, aesthetically a very cool looking game. I love it. What the Come on. My god, he's got an arm! <laughs> I think it's really funny that <laughs> he's like sharpening something that's a blunt weapon. I love that. Any works. Oh, Gemini's emergency protection. I think I looked that up one time and I forgot what it was. Uh, temporarily protects death ergo when hit. Wait, what? Protects death ergo when hit? Do I lose it when I get hit? Uh, food for the cricket puppet that helps, uh, that, that receives help from Gemini. When used, there is death ergo to reclaim. When used, when there is death ergo to reclaim, it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. Oh, snap! I didn't know that. So evidently if there's death ergo to get back and I'm getting hit, uh, there's a cost for that. This. A phone ringing in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, seems totally safe.
solve this, then I'll know you're alive. Oh, the Sphinx is riddle. A human. Feels a bit like the uh, kind of like the Riddler in uh, Batman: Arkham Asylum. If you've uh, if you play that game, uh, like the Riddler has left Batman several clues and give to kind of solve puzzles uh, that he left for you. Um, and as you solve them, you start kind of zeroing in on his, on his location. It's just a like a little side quest thingy. had a, uh, a stargazer uh, by now but I guess I guess one will come soon enough though oh <laughs> speak of the devil A chain that can be swung powerfully inflicts strike damage on anyone that, uh, in the area and spins around enemies that it hits. Sometimes simple is most effective. A quote from a stalker. Oh, that's a thrown object. Pretty neat. Uh, I'll put it down here. Why not? Seems like something I could find a good use for at some point. I haven't used Monad's lamp yet. I don't even know what that does. Oh! It's a light. Okay. I believe they said that at one point. Electric Blitz is effective for subduing puppets. Get out of here if you're not a stalker. Okay. Alright, so everything in here is basically like... It's kind of like the... It sounds like the epicenter for everything that's gone crazy. One of them big dudes. One of them small dudes. Oh, there's another small dude over there. Okay. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on. Oh, damn. All right. Come 
Come on. Boom, there we go. Fable Catalyst, Vivid Ergo Fragment, and Star Fragment. The combat in this is so fluid, it's so fun. I'm having a great time with it. that. Okay, that's pretty neat. Can I climb into this? No. Oh, I have to, I, I bet I have to lower it. Find a way to lower that. Okay. Um, I am actually going to wrap things up here for right now. Um, so I, yeah, I, I think this is a good stopping point. Um, I'm gonna, uh, in the next episode, we're gonna explore the Vanini works, I think it's it, or workshop, and we'll see what kind of, uh, uh what kind of baddies we encounter. I'm excited because uh, it seems like there's just gonna be, like, a, um, a bunch of them, and, uh, they're all really crazy and really angry. So I'm excited to see what it has, uh, has in store for us. So, in the next episode, uh, we'll, we'll check it all out. I'll see you all there.